Hello everyone and welcome to another Transformers review and as you can see I'm doing a, another Cyberverse figure and this is Leadfoot from obviously from Dark of the Moon and he's obviously uh, one of the wreckers and is in his vehicle mode which is a heavily weaponized uh, NASCAR um, it's really well worth having a good look around this before I start transforming him. He's got a lot of really nice detailing done on the bodywork with all of the weapons and obviously uh, Cybertronian add on parts. I think they've made a really nice job of detailing this vehicle considering the size Cyberverse figures are. I think that puts a lot of the larger Transformers to shame. Even like picking out bolts on the plates on the windshield in the centre there. I mean that's such fine work. And even picking out the headlights and that. things like that. That's really good detailing on this figure. Um, to transform him is quite simple. You pull the sides out like so. And they swing forward out of the way. You then flip the back of the vehicle round and, and it's best to turn him round and you can obviously see his face there underneath the car the legs do separate to form individual legs like so you then swing the front of the car down and round and then you've just got to lift up the side pieces up what well, these arms where there's a black piece they're hinged on there just needs to be pushed up to get it um, into the right line for shoulder and just swing the arms down and swing the hands around I'll show you again on that one swing it down like so I would know actually on this right hand arm it might be particular just to this figure but this is slightly stiffer so be careful if you get one of these just in case obviously you don't want to snap the ball joint at the top there uh, just swing the hand round and he's got an open hand on this side for holding weapons and that um, again I'll show you the detail up close I'm really impressed with the detail on him on this sort of scale of figure you've got such good head sculpt going on there and such nice detail in there onto the chest where the dummy doors like the window parts there with the mesh fantastic detailing um, it's not the easiest figure to get to stand well he's got a tendency to fall forward because a lot of the weights transfer to the front which obviously even in the movie looks a little bit cumbersome but he can be a little bit temperamental to stand up but uh, all in all a really good little Cyberverse figure well worth picking up um, I actually managed to get this one cheap from China for I think about a pound um, obviously if you buy, that was loose but obviously if you buy them packaged I think they go for about five pounds and that which is a little bit high but if you could try and pick it up cheaper like I did is well worth it. A five is pushing it a little bit, but there you go. But as an actual bot and for the detailing on him, it's fantastic and well worth picking up. So it's definitely a recommend from me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that little review of a small transformer, but one which I think will be very popular. And uh, I shall see you again for another transformers review.